Let's take a look at the design of our grant table to see what we can figure out about its size consumption of its fields. Go design, and the first field is a char three. How much space does a char three take up? Three bytes. Well, let's see what it's going to tell us about this nvar char fifty. It says one hundred. Well, if we don't fill it, it won't take up that much. That's just the maximum it'll take. How about an integer? That takes up four bytes. Okay. How about a small money? That also takes up four bytes. So we can predict three out of four of these fields and exactly how much data they will take up before we even put data in them. The only one we don't know exactly how much each row is going to consume is the one that has a variable number of characters. That we'll have to calculate after we've put data in the table. Okay, so let's calculate what we know. We know the header takes up four bytes. We know the fixed length data takes up three plus four plus four or eleven bytes. We know the variable block needs to exist. Why? Because we do have at least one variable length data field in here. So it's going to take up two bytes for the variable block plus two bytes for each piece of variable length data. And we have one. Therefore, the variable block will take up four bytes. Variable data? Well, we're going to have to get some data to figure out the exact consumption. Though the first row takes up four bytes for a header, eleven bytes for its fixed length data, four more bytes for a variable block, and how many bytes for the actual variable data? Well, 92 space per sense team is 22 characters. Since it's Unicode, that's going to take up a total of 44 bytes. How about the row by row consumption of the employee table of JProco? Well, let's take a look. We know the header takes up four bytes. How about our fixed length data? Well, an in takes up four bytes. First name and last name, that's variable data, so that uh, is unknown yet. But date time takes up eight bytes. The next two integers, they each take up four bytes. And then the char 12 is a fixed length field of exactly 12 characters. Since it's not Unicode, that takes up 12 bytes. So your fixed length data takes up 32 bytes in every single row. How about the variable length data? If we have any of these fields, we need a variable block, which starts off with two bytes. Now, we're going to count how many variable length fields we have, and there's two of them, each taking up two additional bytes. Therefore, the variable block here takes up six bytes. Without even looking at the data in the table, we've figured out several pieces of its actual data consumption, as you can see here. Well, how much data is it actually taking up? Well, we've got to look at the data in the variable length fields to get that final piece of the puzzle. In this record, last name has five characters in it. Adams, A-D-A-M-S. Are we taking up one byte per character or two? Well, since it's a varchar, it's one byte per character, so this will add five bytes of storage to the last name field. How about first name? There's four letters. That'll take up an additional four bytes. Therefore, we have nine bytes of data consumption in our variable data block. The first record of the employee table appears to be taking up a total of 51 bytes. Back to the room chart table, where, of course, we have a four-byte header, seven bytes of fixed-length data, a four-byte variable block, and then an unknown amount of variable-length data until we look at the records, we feel pretty much done and comfortable with our data consumption. 
But that's actually kind of an oversimplification because there is one more calculation that we need to deal with called the null block. How do we calculate how much data is allocated to calculating nulls versus not null values for nullable data types? In the data portion of your row, right after the fixed data, is a calculation we're going to have to perform for what's called the null block. Exactly how much space does your null block take up? Well, you've got to ask, how many fields do I have that are nullable? If I have any at all, boom, the null block is born and immediately takes up two bytes. Then you have to calculate exactly how many fields you have. If you have anywhere between one and eight, that takes up another byte. Every eight fields takes up another byte. If you had nine, it would take up two. In this example, we have three fields. It takes up a total of another byte. Therefore, the null block, in this example, takes up exactly three bytes. Let's do the full-scale calculation of the data consumption of a row in the grant table. The header takes up four bytes. The fixed data here consists of a char three, which takes up three bytes, an int, which takes up four, and a small money, which takes up four. Therefore, our fixed data is 11 bytes. The null block. Do we have any nullable data? If yes, a two-byte null block is born. How many total fields do we have? Four. Okay, that's between one and eight. Therefore, it's going to take up another byte in the null block. Our null block is now three bytes. The variable block. Do we have any variable length data? Yes, looks like we've got one. The creation of the variable block, two bytes. And then an additional two bytes for each field we have. Since we have one, our total size of our variable block is four. The variable length data, well, we're going to have to see the records to know that one. Let's look at the fifth grant. And we see the big six is foundation percent, which has a length of 19. Is that 19 bytes or is it more? Well, it's Unicode, NVAR char. Therefore, it takes up 38 bytes. So this record has 38 bytes dedicated to the variable length data. Let's run through one more practice example. Let's look at the design of the employee table. The header takes up four bytes. The fixed data, well, we have an int taking up four bytes, a date time taking up eight, another int taking up four, another int taking up four, and a char 12 taking up 12 bytes. Therefore, we have a fixed data payload of 32 bytes. How about the null block? Do we have any nullable fields? Well, we got a number of them right here. The very fact that we have some means a null block has been created with two bytes reserved. How many total fields do we have? We've got more than one, and up to eight, we have seven. Okay, an additional byte. Therefore, the null block takes up three bytes. How about the variable block? Do we have any variable length data fields? Yep, we have two. The fact that we have any means the variable block was created with two bytes. Then we count the number of variable fields, and there's two of them, each taking up two more bytes. Therefore, two plus four is six, or six bytes is dedicated to the variable block. By now, you certainly know to calculate the variable data, we need to actually look at one of the rows. Let's look at row number four. Last name, Kenson, seven letters long. It's a regular varchar, therefore that takes up seven bytes. David, five letters long. A length of five takes up five bytes in a varchar. Therefore, our variable data takes up 12 bytes. Here is a zoom in of lab 3.2, skill check one. 
based on the following table design and the following row populations calculate the header, fixed data, null block, variable block, and variable length data payloads for rows 1 through 5.